All right, hey, what's up guys? So today let's talk about my plate carrier. Now, um, it's just an update to the previous one that I did and uh, if you can still, or if you went back and looked at the previous one, uh, I'm still using the same carrier. So I've, I've been using a defense mechanisms carrier for about almost two to three years, I think it is. And, uh, and sometimes I, I veer off just to try something new because I do try other things, but plate carriers are pretty, uh, I would say, they're very personal, right? Like everything about them, like as you put them together, as you start wearing them, as you make them specific to what you're doing, um, starts to create a personality, a personality of its own. And as you grow as a shooter and as a dude doing certain things, uh, you'll find that your carrier starts to morph over time. So for example, mine has morphed quite a bit over the course of time. And it is one of the things that uh, personally, like uh, I like putting on here so you guys can kind of see and get some ideas and uh, learn as you go. So uh, let's talk about the base carrier or, or the, the actual, like the actual carrier. So without any of the accoutrement, um, it's just a defense mechanisms uh, molly carrier, nothing crazy about it. They make a simple, very easy to use. Um, I would say it's probably one of the most simplistic but most modular ones out there to include, uh, I mean, Pharaoh makes a good one, uh, Spiritus makes a good one. You know, you got a lot of good companies out there to kind of go back and forth with. Um, Core Performance, one of their carriers, I go back and forth and, and use that one pretty often and own quite a few of them. And what I find is that they all usually have same characteristics, very modular, very slimline, and they, they're easy to like push things or add things to them depending on what you're using. So with this one, I've been using for so long that I, I, I like it so much that it feels like it's, it's almost morphed to my body to a certain extent. So let's, let's start talking about the, the plate bags and sides and give you some, some ideas on what I use it for. So when, when I'm using carrier, it's usually for a training environment. Uh, in my, in my experience, like, uh, the majority of the time that you would be wearing a carrier is going to be in a training environment. If the majority of the time is in, a, like a combat environment, you're not training enough for that combat environment, whatever that environment is, whether it's on the streets of a domestic country or if it's in a different country uh, doing doing foot to butt stuff. Now, when it comes to it, uh, the, the front of my carrier is usually the one that has the most stuff. So we'll talk about that one last and we'll kind of go around. So on my right side, I'm a right hand shooter. I carry a holster on the right side. I usually leave it pretty slick. Not to say I can't add things to it, but it's usually pretty slick and usually you'll only find uh, one of my knives on here. And this is one of the variant one knives. Uh, I forget the name of it, but it's a super, super nifty little pokey one. And uh, I like it a lot and it fits on my carrier super slim. So when I wear this thing, it either sits across it like this or against the carrier like this. So it's easy to get to, but it's also very out of the way. And that's what I prefer out of a knife. Um, but it depends, right? Sometimes I want a bigger knife. So uh, it depends on what you're doing. But either way, going across my right side, like I said, it's, it's uh, my cummerbund's pretty bare, but I do use these plate bags that are from Ferro Concepts a lot. And if I plan on using any kind of side armor, uh, that's where they stick and they, they're Velcro on and off. So I can kind of like move them around where I want them on this AXL uh, plate or cummerbund and they keep shape. So they don't fold and they don't like tuck under and, and turn around and all this bullshit that some of the looser carrier cummerbunds do. So the Ferro plate bags actually stick in there really well. And I think this one's on, my bad, on backwards. But that's how easy it is to change it, right? So if I want to add armor to it because I need it, sweet. I'll throw some armor on it. If I don't need it, ah, don't need to put armor on it, cool. I just rock without it. So it's just up to you and what you're doing, obviously, and, and scaling up and down is kind of important. It should be, should be something that you can do. So that's one of the things that actually goes on or off my right side. 
and usually this side like I said is pretty bare but if I needed to put like some kind of admin pouches or something I could if I need to scale up and I'm not carrying a handgun because I'm carrying something else I could do that but I usually keep it pretty bare and don't just add things to add things now going around backside I keep slick um, I, I have been uh, using a slick back plate or back area for a very long time. I'm not a big fan of keeping uh, a lot of stuff on here. If I use a zip on zip off panel, I'll just use a different carrier most of the time. But if, uh, if I need that kind of carrying capacity, I usually carry a little bag, right? Like a, a, a 12 liter, I'm sorry, a, a 22 liter or a, a 15 liter bag that, that'll carry all that shenanigans. That way I can dump it when I need to and I can stick it on when I need to. And it keeps me nice and slick for getting in and out of vehicles and stuff like that. I prefer that and that's how I've always used it for the most part. Um, but every time I try a plate bag of some sort, I, I get excited about it at first. And then I realize like there's nothing on there that I could reach by myself usually. Um, maybe mags that are low, but other than that, I can't really reach a lot of stuff. So I need a partner to do so and my backpack eliminates that need. So if I need one of those pieces of equipment and I don't have somebody to grab it for me, I can at least undo my bag, grab that piece of equipment. So I prefer it that way, but like I said, that's just me. Now going further, left side of my plate carrier is a medium gp style pouch from spiritus a uh, i forget what they call this one but it's essentially the one they made for a liberty uh, banger and this pouch i don't use it for a banger right now but i can uh, but what i use it for is let's say i want to put another mag into the game right and put another mag into my plate carrier or add it to my plate carrier for some reason or what i keep in here the most at this point is actually a door jam that I use to stop doors that are retracting on me. Uh, I can't remember the name of this one, but essentially it's a door jam. So nothing fancy, but a uh, really useful tool for those of you that are probably like working in a domestic environment um, and some of the overseas stuff that has retracting doors that may be useful. But just start carrying that in my in one of my pouches. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put it or keep it and use it long term. Then I keep a radio pouch on here just to add one, a radio, when I need one or if somebody hands me one or if I'm using one for whatever reason. I do have a couple radios that I flip flop from. Um, but it's a big pouch so that I can fit everything that I, I've ever used. So any bigger military radios uh, or any smaller, more civilian radios. Um, but I keep that pouch on there because that is what my cummerbund attaches to on this side. Because I like using tubes. And the Spiritus radio pouch there has the tube adapter. So it Velcros underneath my front panel or my, my front uh, placard and gives me that tube. I like that option. Now, the other reason I like this option of having this tube here is that now I can go ahead if I need to put on, uh, let's say, another layer like a jacket or something underneath this, I can undo the Velcro, undo the Velcro there, pull it out a little bit, and I can immediately adjust it. Um, some carriers that use tubes, you can't adjust it quickly and you have to go to the back, undo some, some, uh, tie down stuff or shock cord, loosen it up or whatever. And you have to go through that process here. I could do it on the fly. So if I layer up, I can do it on the fly or I layer down and it's on my left side, which, okay. If I have a little Velcro there, it's not a big deal hanging out, uh, versus the other way around where it may be loosening too far on these ends. Um, which this side also can be undone and I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but um, Going further right going down the line a little bit and and we'll talk about I'm sorry. Let's talk about that uh, medium GP so in here I usually keep Excuse me, excuse me. So I use uh, I have my down lead for my helmet to my comms. I have my boom mic I don't leave them on my helmet um, depends but most of the time I don't leave them on my helmet and sometimes I'll actually keep them in my uh, counterweight but I normally just keep it in here because if I'm wearing this and a helmet and comms they're all together um, but just kind of depends then I keep lens wipes in here like I keep in almost anything that I, I have uh, I have lens wipes I have a disgust in here because I use those every once in a while instead of a radio I can now use my phone really really useful um, a snacky poo 
I have a spare battery for a radio whenever I use one. And then I have a lighter in one of the Theorem lighter little vaults. And then a woo, 18650 for my handheld flashlight that's on this, this rig here. So uh, furthermore, in this little small pouch, I usually keep a lens wipe, right? To go with these, I need to dry some stuff sometimes. I keep a V light that I could use as a buzz saw. I use a face mask because sometimes I'm doing stuff where I don't need my face uh, seen. And I like to be able to obscure it a little bit. Um, and then I also have an SSE bag in here this one's originally from a cry pouch um but i don't use that pouch anymore but i do use the sse bag very useful just in case i need to grab more stuff or add to what i'm carrying so just different ways to do it guys um different little objects that go into this little gp but note how much actually fits in here is quite a bit and how you stuff it you know is up to you uh, i like using the small one because it's not something i'm going to carry a lot of stuff in but most of the time a lot of the bigger equipment will be in my bag like my night vision if i'm not carrying it on my helmet because i'm not using it and it goes in a bag it usually goes in my backpack i don't put it on my side because if i have to take or if i take a spill most likely in my bag it can be in a padded case versus out here where it can't so moving forward forward or further right um, let's go to the front of this bad boy. We'll put this together afterwards because I'm doing it haphazardly. So going to, going to the front of this bad boy, um, it hasn't changed a lot, but it has added, or I have added a few things. So going from this side to this side, um, first off, I use a, um, mag pouch or flashlight pouch or whatever small item pouch that uh, Shaw Concepts makes. It's a really good one and it's low enough that when I grab my flashlight I could actually grab a few inches of it or if I want to keep a pistol mag on there I can or if I want to put a multi-tool on there I can. Usually I just leave a flashlight because I like having a handheld on, on, my, on my person. Um, sometimes if I grab and put this bad boy on, I'll take the handheld out of my pocket and put it here. But most of the, the majority of the time, I leave my mod light in this pouch and just leave it be. Um, if you have enough lights, you can do that. If not, maybe have a pouch that's empty for you to take your carry light and put it in there if you carry a real light. Um, if you carry a small little admin light, it's probably not worth it. Um, but up to you, right? Uh, then going, going across, I have my two mags. Uh, this placard is from Spiritus. It's their Mark V. Very nice placard, really slimline. You can make it really thin or you can bulk it up with other things. Um, but the front of it has some loopy tie down little holes for shock cord or tie downs. Uh, it also has Molly across the front with Velcro across the front. Really, really useful, has a ton of versatility. And I, I've been really liking it a lot. It's not a bad idea. And, and in my opinion, really good pouch. Um, I use their shock uh, pouches on the inside and they retain pretty well. Uh, you could use shock cord if you wanted to go a little bit more retainment. And I, I keep mags on here that have mag pods usually, not just because it extends the mag a little bit so that I can grab it easier because it doesn't add capacity, it just adds length. Um, but it also adds another factor where I can lay it down on the ground, get some stability or lay it into some kind of uh, concrete and it has a little rubber boot or whatever you know like it gives me another versatile uh, option there also if you use shock cord it usually goes between this and then now it gets trapped between the foot and the heel and now it's it's get it gets stuck in that little spot and won't fall off so if you're doing stuff that you need shock cord to, to kind of retain your stuff that may be an option um on the front here i have this little uh eud panel um, not my favorite and I've actually been uh, kind of leaning towards getting rid of it at this point. It's not one that I use very often and I kind of hate having it there. Um, not because I, I like my EUDs down here, but I don't like this specific one. So um, if you know of any other companies that are making some EUD holders, that's not the two big bad boys that like, um, what is it, Juggernaut and, uh, and the other one, uh, I forget, the other one's name but if it's not one of those two i'd like to see it because i i like to try and play around with those different ones um going going further on this one i also have 
my pry tool, I carry a pry tool, even though I may have bigger breaching tools. I like uh, an individual like pry tool for interior things, smaller items, smaller things that I need to get into. This one's from Winkler, uh, from Winkler Knives. Really good tool, very useful, kind of disappears on your kit once you start carrying it. Uh, if you find a good spot to do it and it slides down molly, so you can really find some really nifty ways to carry this little guy um, to include like, on the first spear you can go laterally um, or horizontally and on um, ferro concepts is one you can go also horizontally a lot of them will go up and down like this one um, on here too i usually keep uh, another tourniquet and some kind of set of shears i like having both uh, because I find that whenever I need a, a tourniquet, I usually need some shears too, or something to cut away at stuff. So I usually keep those in a very easily accessible area. Um, I've been kind of toying around with getting rid of this spot and putting another mag or having it empty for other things or using it for other things and just using a dedicated uh, tourniquet holder um one from jtac i have a bunch of them so i've been playing around with messing with those more maybe adding it to the side or adding it to the side we'll find out so playing around with things like always and then on here i also have a theorem cell vault i like having these i use the smaller one and there is enough batteries to re-up my rifle um once over so light the the my maul and my optic and that's that's what I try to carry on my person here. Uh, for my handgun, I usually keep enough in my handgun on my belt to, to kind of re-up my handgun. And then on my helmet, I keep batteries for my helmet. So I like keeping them separate and keeping them where each of them are gonna be about. And uh, my rifle also has extra down in the grip. So I do keep a lot of batteries on me, but um, man, sometimes you gotta lend things out. Sometimes you need them yourself. Um, the other thing too here, um, and some people have never uh, thought about it or don't think about it, but I actually keep a tiny little uh, shock cord loop thingy that one of my buddies made a long, long time ago. And we were using for chem lights, but um, one time I just shoved ear pro in there to have some extras. And I was like, man, that's actually a really good idea because uh, I find myself using ear pro here and there <laughs> randomly or needing to double plug sometimes and possibly losing one of these when I pull them out. And it's nice to have them already on my plate carrier. I actually lent out two of these um, a, a couple weeks ago uh, to somebody because he was like, oh, anybody got a spare ear player? Boom, it's right there. So um, then I just have a, a simple name placard. And then they have their admin panel up here or admin pocket where I have a VS-17 panel that's compressed. I have a flex cuff cutter because I use flex cuffs a lot. And then I also have a small little lockpick set that I keep in here most of the time. And, uh, and one of the things I'll find um, with the flex cuffs, I, I use my shears a lot for those as well, but the flex cuff cutter can be handy to hand off to somebody to pop a bunch of flex cuffs all at once. Um, and then I usually keep like handcuff keys and stuff on my belt because that's where I keep my handcuffs if I carry handcuffs. Now, uh, going, going further on this bad boy, um, on this side, the way I connect the tube is actually with a Lunar Concepts little spear tube or a, a first spear tube like holder. It's actually a really, really nifty idea and one of the ones that um, I wish I kind of came up with because it bolts onto the two little pieces that would be if you use the placard for a chest, chest rig where the clips go that is where it clips onto or bolts onto. And now you have a rig that is actually jumpable because you have made it so that the flap can't come up. But not that I jump with it, um, I keep one of them that connects and can be connected like so. And now it's on the placard, keeping the placard close to me. And then I keep one that is separated where it actually is on my radio pouch. So once again, I can adjust. So for, for extra clothing and stuff like that. Now. Um, let's, let's go even deeper into this bad boy. Now let's say like I wanted to carry more medical on me or just have a big snack pouch. I use the Ferro Concepts little mini dangler or this half size dangler. Really awesome. I've been very happy with this thing. Uh, I think that a lot of people mistake these danglers for like, oh, like that's not useful. It, they're really useful. And because I can 
take it off whenever I feel or add more things if I feel like it. It's really useful and I like these small ones. So personally, I use the smaller one. Um, I, I find that I can fit enough medical for two people in this bad boy or more for me, so it depends. And then I also carry even more medical in my plate bag. So in my plate bag, I like using one of these. Now, is this the best way to carry med? Not at all. It's kind of between a bunch of shit, in, including me, could get damaged by being shot, uh, or other thingamabobbies. It's usually on the inside of my plate, so it can only get deformed, really. Um, but what it does is provide me some extra little stuff that I could add into what I'm already carrying, or if it's that freaking bad, I can go ahead and pull it out. So, up to you. Um, just my personal preference. I like having it. Uh, some people don't, and that's cool, man. You do you. So, just another option and once again i'll just fix this when we're off camera but that is one of the things i'll keep in my plate bag kind of make it simple and then to add the axl um which we call it cummerbund to the defense mechanisms plate carrier i had to also modify back here so vx concepts is it vx yeah. vxv concepts makes this panel that has the little spots for shock cords so that you could attach one of these, kind of like the Spiritus Carrier, but also adapts it to Velcro so that you can attach it to something like this. Genius adapter, um, definitely needed because some people want to use these with these kind of carriers and you can't otherwise. It just doesn't have the Velcro or the like it doesn't attach that way. So this is the way that I attach this and it is uh, absolutely, um, it, it's probably a must if you're gonna do something like this because it gives you that, once again, that ability to go ahead and size it properly and widen this bad boy out if you're gonna put more stuff underneath you uh, or you're going to wear plates on the sides or add pouches or add interior stuff, whatever it is. Um, but you can, you can do a lot of adaptations that way by using something like this um, and being able to literally do it on the fly. So boys, um, that's pretty much my carrier. Uh, nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy like usual. It's just based off of what I need personally. Um, if it's something that fits your bill, man, do it. If it's something that you saw on the internet that doesn't make sense and like you would never use it, but you put it on here because it looks cool, that's a problem. Uh, so make sure it makes sense, guys, based off of what you're doing and what you need. And if it does, rock on, girl. Uh, but have a use for it. Uh, don't make it something that just is on there for, for uh, kicks. So hope this helps, guys. Just an update on my play carrier as it's evolved over the course of time and, and real really like what am I doing with it so uh or what I do with it so hope this helps if you have any questions put them below take care